Christ. I pray in India because I see an attack. And I pray in Jesus. Amen. Israel and India celebrated nearly three decades of relations last week. And as they marked the milestone, a bomb went off just outside the Israeli embassy in New Delhi. While no one was injured in the attack, officials say it was terror related. We have Israel's ambassador to India standing by to explain. But first, let's take a look at this report. An explosion occurred near Israel's embassy in India on Friday. There were no casualties in the incident and no damage was caused to the embassy building. But the timing was interesting. It was the 29th anniversary of India-Israel relations. According to Indian media, a terror organization called Jaish ul Hind, believed to be affiliated with Iran, has taken responsibility for Friday's attack. Israel's ambassador to India, Ron Malka, had said earlier that the country had strong assumptions that the blast was a terror attack. Indian police say the explosion was caused by an improvised explosive device, or IED, and the impact from the blast could be felt within a 20 to 25 meter radius. The attack is still under investigation. Explosion tha. Abhi kya explosion tha? Ye laboratory mein examination ke baad, chemical examination ke baad hi hum log bata paenge. Meanwhile, India's foreign minister says he assured his Israeli counterpart, Gabi Ashkenazi, of the fullest protection for the embassy and Israeli diplomats. Khan Rifkin, ILTV. Like I said before, we're honored now to be joined by Israel's ambassador to India, Ron Malka. He joins us now live from New Delhi. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good evening. Thank you for inviting me. So this attack happened on the 29th anniversary of ties between Israel and India. Now an Iranian group is allegedly claiming responsibility. What is your take on Friday's events? Well, as I mentioned before, uh, yes, it is, it is a, according to our assumption, a terror attack targeting the Israeli embassy. Fortunately, uh, 